hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for stopping by my name is mariama so today i'll be showing you my county's my motherland's favorite dish which is cassava leaf we'll be making this recipe today with using cooking oil like vegetable oil instead of red oil and today we'll be using coconut milk in this recipe so for everything we'll be using we have our chicken we have our meat we have our dried fish onions cassava leaf blended okra pepper and onions and then we have our jumbo cubes we have a granite paste and then of course we have in our oil which is somewhere else where i'm going to also add in a paprika kind of stuff so let me tell you a little bit of history about cassava leaf when a woman gives birth in sierra leone the number one dish that we recommend to give that woman is cassava leaf because it helps with the supply of breast milk so i have an amazing lady that has been watching my video that i i don't know i know what i love so much and she just welcomed a bouncing baby boy a cerulean baby of course so i'm excited about that i just want to say congratulations on the arrival of your new baby and i hope you and your baby are doing excellent just take your time rest and enjoy every step of motherhood so let's get on to the video so after adding our onions and our groundnut paste and our salt into the hot boiling water we are going to allow the groundnut you see i did not like try to spread it into or mash it or turn it into liquid before putting it inside i just use this cooking spoon and measure two spoons of groundnut paste in Sierra Leone, typical so people will cook and like all already you know mix the groundnut paste to come to that liquid so they will just pour it inside but for me i just like to just put it into this bulky stuff and just allow it to just come up to boil like the way you are seeing it right now after it comes to this boil then i'm going to go ahead and start adding my meats and my and my groundnuts what is it my coconut milk my coconut milk and then we're going to go in and add in our cassava leaf so let's get back to my county Sierra Leone is a very small county situated at the one of the counties in West Africa al alongside we share borders with Guinea Conakry and also Liberia we can go to Liberia to Guinea Conakry in a day and I've never been to Liberia so I don't know how to go there but we are close by we shared like a border so Sierra Leone has been to some of its own you know some of its own ordeals you know like many countries in west africa we have been through so many things we start off with slavery get colonized and then we got a war and after the war we have a president that helped with ending the war dr amachi jankaba he ruled for like 10 years and afterwards we have president the ex-president anes by Koroma, also ruled for 10 years and currently we have the regime of mother bio that is currently ruling the county this is his second term and so many things have been happening but if you want to know a little bit more about my country leave it in the comment section let's get back to making our country's number one delicacy which is cassava leaf but not every Sierra Leonean is cassava leaf especially the one that are suffering from like ulcer and other health complications they are not advised to eat this dish but like the majority of Sierra Leoneans this is our number one dish the cassava leaf so after adding our groundnut paste our onions and our sauce and bring them to boil we add in our meats we add in our coconut milk and now we are going to add in our cassava leaf and give it a good mix so it will not have any bumpy stuff at the bottom and then we are going to like add in our seasoning stuff and first of all we are going to cover this and allow it to come to a boil when you are cooking cassava leaf be careful if you don't want to have like a 10 hours cleaning after cooking because this is a sauce that likes jumping everywhere so that's why i'm always like covering it with a little allow it not to so i will not allow the cassava leaf to mess up my kitchen and give me a lot of headache after cooking so we are going to add in our chicken or seasoning cubes or cooking cubes or boiling cubes however you call them i'm using the jumbo and the star maggie brand for the chicken and then the other one also so we are going to add these cubes inside and then we are going to go ahead and give them a good mix so it will not have any lumpy stuff i'm kind of like excited by this brand that i'm using because normally i remember the first the last cube that i was using it was very hard i could not break it with my finger i have to put it like the beginning of cooking so that it will dissolve on its own inside because it was very hard to squeeze but these brands are like really soft you can just squeeze it with your hands whether it's winter or summer 
So after bringing the cassava leaf to this consistency, like to this bowl, we are going to open it and start adding our other ingredients. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share this video if you like it. And don't forget to give me your questions about Sierra Leone in the comment section. Anything that you would like to know. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding all my chicken. Remember, I've already added the meat at the bottom, yeah? So now we're going to go ahead and add in our fried chicken. You can use any protein that you want to use in cooking cassava leaf. You can use crabs, you can use snails, you can use whatever. But I'm using this chicken recipe. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my oil. I did not put my oil at the beginning because I use groundnut paste in making this recipe. And you know, groundnut also produces oil. So to avoid it to be a little bit too oily, I'm going to bring it to boiling. I'll see if I will need to add too much of oil or just a little bit. So that's why the oil is coming at this time of the cooking. So we are going to give that a good mix. And then we are going to go ahead and add in our okra, the pepper, and the blended onion for this recipe i'm not using this not like our paper but if you're a Sierra Leonean, sometimes you can use powder pepper that we call cayenne pepper it's very spicy and it makes your dish just smell so now but i'm not using anything spicy so i'll be using paprika and adding a one jumbo cube also at the top to just bring it to that taste that i'm looking for when i cook i don't i don't like tasting food I was raised by my grandmother and she does not like tasting food when you are cooking. It seems like you are going to add in your saliva into what you are cooking and serving to people. So when I cook, I just cook with my heart and follow the quantities of salt and maggie cube that I will be using. And my ancestors will be guiding me through. So after adding that, I'm going to add in my okra mix. In Sierra Leone, we have different types. Every tribe cooks differently. I'm Timini, by the way, raised up by a Limba woman, my grandmother. My mother passed when I was little, but that is story for another day. So when we cook as Timini's, like it's different to how the Mendes or the Shabros or the Soso, how they cook. Every nation, every county, every tribe, every race cook differently. So I appreciate every woman and her own recipe. Don't judge anyone that is cooking and say, ah, you should have made it this way, you should have made it that way. Allow people to explore their, their stuff and what they are good at doing. So after adding everything, I'm going to go ahead and add in my dry fish. If you have crabs, amazing. You can add them to cassava leaf and it will just add with everything nice. So after adding the, the okra, you can see how stretchy the cassava leaf is good looking and how amazing it has come to this level so i'm going to give it again another cover and just allow it to just dissolve a little bit more and then just look at it there is nothing that you will not say you don't like about this dish but i understand different counties different recipe we don't all eat the same thing but if you are going to sierra leone just know the most popular dish that you are going to find around is cassava leaf this is our nation's treasure. This is our what our ancestors left with us to like pass on to our kids and their kids. Sierra Leone is not a big country. We are small. We are known for so many good things. We are tolerant, tolerant to other people. Our country is open to foreigners. We are kind. Like there is nothing bad you can say about Sierra Leoneans. Like there is nothing. <laughs> Argue in the comment section, but trust me, we are good people we don't like trouble we don't like fights we don't like arguing over unnecessary things we value families living in our own little being help help to your neighbors and your relatives or your friends and just being all around happy and give out good and positive spirits and just being happy again in the comment section and i'll be there to answer you with a video or i will just reply with a note so if you have been watching me from a long time or just recently Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you all on my next video, being it's cooking or talking. Have a lovely week Sunday.